Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my September favorites. I have skincare, I have beauty products and fashion favorites and a couple songs. So if you guys want to know what my favorites were for this video, then keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to go with this, which is my oil-free moisture um, with sunscreen SPF. 15 by Neutrogena. This is oh my god guys this is so good. Um I got this about hmm, I want to say like eight or nine months ago and I still have a lot because you just need a little bit of a pump and it goes a long way. Um I love this because it has SPF. Before this moisturizer I used to use the Lush one. I can't remember exactly which one which I loved, trust me, that one was like amazing. But I wanted something with SPF. And now when like the fall is coming and winter and it's just like cold and stuff like that. So my skin gets are a little bit like dry and stuff like that. So I need a little more of a moisture in my face. So I use this and it's perfect. It's only about 10 to $12 I want to believe. I got mine in Target, but I know they sell at CVS and Walgreens and everything like that. So if you guys are looking for a new moisturizer, I would definitely recommend this one. Next, um, this foundation, I actually got this over a year ago. Um, I used a full one and because I used to love it so much and I don't even know why I stopped um, using it. I got a second one and then that's when I stopped using it for some reason. But this is so good. It gives you... The perfect coverage but it doesn't feel cakey at all um i don't know why people don't really talk about this because it's amazing and the price is so reasonable uh, this is the milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation conceal foundation foundation and concealer um this is in the number 04 medium beige this is the shade i use i love it because it has like the little pump and everything like that. I feel like m most of um, foundations from the drugstore don't have a pump. I don't know if that's just the ones I've tried. But I love this. And it's honestly as good as high, high end ones. So if you guys are looking for an expensive um, foundation. I would definitely recommend this one. Next uh, for primers. I actually picked this one up in accident, on accident. Um, I used to use the Maybelline Baby Baby Skin one, I think it's called. Um, but I picked this one on accident because at my Target, the other one ran out. So I just kind of needed like super fast something. So I got this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Guys, it's amazing. And the best part is was that it was only like four dollars or something like that it's amazing a little bit goes a long way and i actually use this in my t-zone where i feel like my pores are pretty big and it does the job guys i'm telling you if you are looking for a primer that is for um to cover up your pores this is great um i want to say it's as good as the benefit um one because i've used that one and it's really good but this is just as good and it's cheaper. So if you guys are looking for something that isn't too expensive and you just want to try it out, then I would definitely recommend this one. Next, for eyebrows. You guys know I love my eyebrows. Um, recently, like I said, I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup or anything like that. But I do have to do my eyebrows like every day because it's just... I can't go out without my eyebrows being dead. But sometimes I don't feel like using my pomade and it just takes too long. So what I do is I use this. And this is the Gimme Brow by Benefit in number 3. And I just swipe it all over and it does the job, guys. It gives me that tint and it gives my eyebrows like that shape and it stays put and everything like that. And I think this was like $24, so it's a little bit pricey. But I've had this for a while and it's lasted me a long time because you only need a little bit and it goes a long way. So I would definitely recommend this, guys. For highlights, well, 
I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know if you can tell. I freaking love this. I don't know why people... When I first got this, I got this literally the day it came out. And as soon as I got it, I went on YouTube and everybody was saying it wasn't good, it wasn't good, it wasn't good. But I loved it. So, this is the Too Faced Love Light in a Ray of Light. And I think it's the prettiest freaking color. Um, you do have to work with it, but it just gives you like the nice natural glow. And it's not too gold or not too white, which is what I love about this. And I just love the packaging. I think it's super, super cute. Again, this is the Too Faced Love Light in Love Light Highlighter and Ray of Light. So if you guys are looking for something glowy but not too much and not that very gold or white this is the perfect shade for you guys um speaking of highlighter this brush i freaking love it um this is my highlighting brush which i use all the time um it's a fan brush and this is the amore us pro makeup fan brush 915 and it was super 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 inexpensive i can't remember I think my mom got this for me but i remember it being super inexpensive so i will definitely link this down below so you guys can get it if you're looking for a fan brush that isn't too expensive and it's also not like rough or anything it's like super super soft so yeah guys if you guys are looking for one then i got you um next for lips you guys know i love lipstick that's like my favorite thing and i just keep buying and buying and buying I think that's like the thing I buy the most to be honest but that's not the point first it is my Jeffree Star and this is the one I'm using right now and this is Jeffree Star Unicorn lipstick I love this color this is like the perfect fall color um, I don't know if you guys can see it right there it is perfect guys um, I got this on sale this summer and it was actually, instead of 18 it was like half off, so it was only $9. But I know they still have it. So if you guys are looking for a lipstick, it is not the liquid lipstick. So it does come off, like you guys can see. But the formula is so creamy. It's just, I love it. And the, you don't have to keep like reapplying. It's just like the pigments there, you know? So, I mean... You guys can see how great this is and it's really creamy like I said perfect fall color and again this is the unicorn unicorn blood by Jeffree Star um this is another Milani product and I actually got this I want to say April and I got it and I never used it and then uh, um I think it was during the summer when I actually grabbed onto it but I kept putting it off, putting it off. And the other day, I was trying to do like this makeup look with a nude lip. But it was too nude that I put this over it just a little bit. And it looks amazing. So this is the Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream by Milani in the color Over Dramatic number 13. And it is so freaking pretty, guys. Do you see how metallic that is? I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Let me see. It is so pretty. Um, it is pretty by itself, but I don't really like metallics on my lips just by itself. So what I do is I put a lipstick or a lip liner and then I top it off. Do you guys see that? How pretty that is? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And the best part, it was only about $7 I want to say. And it does dry matte, which is great, so it doesn't come off. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a metallic one, I want to say this is kind of like the Kylie Jenner um, metallic ones because my friend has it, and I used it, and it's kind of like the same thing, which this one is cheaper. So if you guys are not trying to invest in like a metallic lip since you guys don't use it as much, or maybe you guys do, but like for me, I don't use it that much. So this is like my go-to. Get it. 
Okay, next, that is it for my beauty products. But I have, okay, I have a couple fashion favorites. Um, these shoes, I actually fell in love with them and uh, I got them at Saks. I wasn't planning on getting shoes at all that day. I actually went to go get jeans or something like that. But then I saw these and they were on sale for $70, which I know sounds a lot, but they were originally like, 200 or something like that and I just thought they were so cute especially for fall I'm a sneakers girl sneakers girl I can't talk again okay um but this is just the perfect just they're so freaking pretty guys tell me I'm wrong um these are the Rebecca Minkoff and I want, there are, I, I don't know what the style number is. I have the box, so I'll look it up and link it down below. But I just think it's perfect because it's like sneakers, but they're slide-ons, which is like super trendy right now. And I love that it has these little studs right here. I don't know. I just think they're very cute and they cannot like dress up a look for sure, but they're still like slide-on sneakers. So yeah, I think they're super, super cute. And if you're looking for something like this, I would definitely recommend getting something like this okay, next next I'm wearing it guys this is my little black hat I know it's been super trendy and like most girls are wearing it right now I just love it I think it's super super cute and it's perfect for fall um, I got this at H&M and it was only about 17 18 dollars it was 17 I think but plus tax I don't know I can't remember um, I'll leave it down, I'll leave the link down below, um, but I'm not, I just think it can put up an outfit, like, this is just a plain t-shirt, and it just looks like cute, it dresses it up, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, next, <laughs> um, earrings, I love earrings, um, I think earrings are a huge, like, statement right now um there's so many things like going on with like big hoops which i love guys and there's just like these which i think they're so freaking pretty and then there's other ones i've seen the ones that are like little things hanging but it has like beads on them which i want to get but i still haven't found them i see them like on girls everywhere but i still haven't found the perfect ones think that's because I'm picky but I don't know anyways I got these off um I got these at Nordstrom and they were a bit pricey I think they were like $28 or a little bit more but I just think they're the perfect uh, like statement for fall and I just think they're super super cute and I can't stop wearing them they do have some that are like the same but different colors and they're like more bright colors but I got these because like fall is coming I just think they're super super cute and it was worth the money guys so if you guys are looking for statement earrings go to Nordstrom okay lastly for fashion favorites I think this was like my favorite thing ever and I can't stop using it and I probably won't stop using it but I had a jean jacket, but it disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. So I decided to go buy myself a jean jacket. But this time I wanted to get, because my other one is from like Gap or Old Navy or something. So I wanted to invest in one that was really nice. And I looked everywhere. And where I got this was like the last place I was thinking of going, even though they're all about jeans and stuff like that. But I just never really shopped there. But, I got this jean jacket, and I think it's the prettiest thing ever, but wait for it. It says, it says Rebels Los Angeles, which I think it's so freaking cute. It's so different, and it's just like, I don't know if you guys can see how pretty this is. I love it. Um, this is from Lucky Brand. Um, I think it was... $120 or something like that, but 
it was worth it guys because I think when it's, it comes to a jean jacket you have to invest in it because it's going to last forever and even though it has this on the back it's not too crazy where it's going to be like not trendy anymore that's why I decided to get it um but yeah I just think it's perfect for fall for winter for spring and for summer like jean jackets are just in all the time and it was worth the money honestly guys I can't stop using it so I already got like money's worth but if you guys are looking for a jean jacket that is a little bit different and just nice quality I would definitely recommend going to Lucky Brand Okay, so for song favorites this month, I only have one, which is surprising. Um, it's going to be New Rules by Dua Lipa. I think that is what it's called. I just think it's really good. So this is it, guys. I got new rules, I count them. I got new rules, I count them. Okay. That is it, guys. Well, that is it for my favorites this month, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching.